Hello everyone, Plant Assassin here. And today I want to talk to you about one of the banes of agricultural, recreational, and residential life in the West. And that is this horrible, horrible, wretched plant that I'm showing you here. That, you know, now that I look at it, it actually does have some pretty yellow flowers on it. But this is a puncture vine or a goat's head and this plant is a noxious weed in most of the West and it is a uh, reason why it's called a goat head is let me see if I can get these things off here okay it has these seed heads here and these will break apart so there's actually five of them here, so those will split apart, and it's uh, actually here's some here that have. Ouch. So these have split apart, so that's why it's called the goat head. Now these things are, this is a small one. Some of these will get much stronger, longer um, vines on them. But you can see here, we got one plant. This thing is about five feet across. And it just rambles off over there. They like uh, disturbed soil, wastelands, agricultural fields, um, places where you would like to walk barefoot, places where you would ride a bike. And actually, some bees, little bees here. So apparently, they are providing some sort of benefit for local pollinators um, other places they like to grow where your dog would walk where you drive with your vehicle um, any place you would want to sit down and have a picnic any place where livestock like to walk <laughs> these things are just horrible now they're introduced from uh, from Europe in the Mediterranean area and there's a local legend here in Idaho that they were actually introduced to be planted around the old Idaho penitentiary to discourage um, inmates from escaping. But uh, I don't know how true that is. There, a lot of what I've read indicates that they were introduced um, inadvertently as part of the sheep um, and wool industry. Because these things get caught in the sheep's wool. And so maybe sheep that were brought over had some in their wool. Or wool that was brought over uh, had some in there. Now these, the seed heads, the goat heads, they're, they stay viable in the soil for um, up to 50 years or more. According to some reports. And I would believe that. Because you'll have a lawn... As soon as you let it die, it, uh, you know, it's been there forever. And then one of these little boogers comes up. Now, hey, just look at that. That's great. This is, you know, most of my childhood in summer income was spent on buying new bike inner tubes because of these. Now, the good thing about this is if you have a stirrup hoe, these plants are actually not that, um, hardy as far as, uh, if you just cut them at the root base here with your stirrup hoe and slide it under and that'll take care of it and then bag it up you know don't just toss it in the trash can but bag it up and uh, you know so here's another one right here here's a young one this one doesn't just pulled up like that now it's dead so these are, um, these, these plants are very, they have like a waxy, um, something, like a waxy residue on them. So they're somewhat resistant to a lot of herbicides. So, uh, so if you see them, uh, get rid of them as soon as you can. It's best to catch them early. And the other thing too is that they're, they like disturbed areas 
because they are not good at competing with other with other plants so you can see you know the grass is starting to grow over here and it's pushing the uh, vines out so you're not really going to see them competing with uh, healthy um, plants so anyway horrible vine i hate this thing it's you know the, the dogs get in it it it'll go through the bottom of your shoe soles it's horrible anyway but apparently it's providing some food for bees and even though it's an evil plant it's um, you know sitting here providing me with some oxygen so i guess i should be a little more gracious with it <laughs> but anyway this is a plant assassin if you found this video informative uh, please like and subscribe thank you